to another video. It is me, Desiree, and today I wanted to talk about some classic drugstore makeup that I still haven't tried. For one reason or another, I, wa I work at the drugstore. I pass by these things every day and I look at them, I pick out my shade, I see it, but for some reason I can't bring myself to buy it. Like either I just feel like I won't like it or I already know I won't like it or I know I will like it, but for some reason I don't buy them. But I want to try these things. I mean, for most of these I do want to try except one. There's one thing here I think I might not want to try because I think I might not like it. But there are always things that, I don't know, they're, they're on my radar but I haven't bought them for some reason. But if you have tried these and whether you like them or don't like them, let me know. Have I been missing out? I don't know. But the first one I want to mention is a lot of foundations I haven't tried. I actually haven't tried anything other than the concealer from the Maybelline Fit Me line. I remember when this line launched. We got displays and it was like it was a really big deal when the Fit Me line launched and it's still around, which is kind of cool. They have two different foundation formulas. They have the loose powder that's still very, very popular. They have the concealer, which I feel like I've tried twice. And I remember liking it. I don't know, I remember liking it, but it didn't like blow my mind. I obviously have no opinion on it. Um, and then I, the blushes that they have as well. Um, I never really heard anything about the blushes, good or bad, they're just kind of there. But I think the thing that stands out the most from the line is probably the foundations and the powder, at least that's what I see online. I would really love to try one of those foundations out this year and that powder. Every time I hear Emily Noel talk about the Fit Me powder, I just want it. I want to reach through the screen and touch it. It just seems like, I don't know, just like the big container that it's in, it feels, it just seems like it feels so good and I want to dust it all over my entire body. I really want to try that powder this year. I think I want to add that to my wish list. I also have a running drugstore makeup I want to try this year wish list. I'm going to add to it Fit Me powder. Do they also have a pressed powder? You know what? I think they have a pressed powder too and I also haven't tried that. I just want to try the loose powder right now though. But I haven't tried anything from the Fit Me line other than the concealer, which I have no opinion on. I also haven't tried the L'Oreal um, True Match Foundation. It used to be in a little glass bottle with the screw on lid. They did repackage it now. It has a pump. I still haven't tried it. There are so many shades. I know I'll find one that matches for me. But I don't know why for some reason it just seems basic. I don't know. I just imagine trying it out, pumping it out, I guess. I was going to say pour it out. Pumping it out, put it all over my face, and I'll go, cool. I got foundation on my face. I just don't know why I don't picture it blowing my mind, you know? I don't know why that is, but I still really want to try it, and especially when it came out with the pump, I was like all about it. I wanted to try it so bad, but I still haven't. Um, but I also want to retry the infallible. I'm going to add that to the list too. I don't know why I gave up on that one because uh, I bought it when it came out. I remember liking it and then it stopped working for me, but I don't remember why. Uh, it just doesn't, wasn't looking that good on my face anymore, but I want to try that again. Let me add that there. Anyway, still haven't tried the True Match. I don't know why. Okay, this is the one thing I haven't tried, but I don't know if I would like it and it's the Cody Air Spun Powder. We sell it now um, at work in like a little travel size. It's probably this big. And I remember seeing the small size come in and I thought, okay, now's my chance. If I'm going to try that powder, I want to get the small one. They sell it, I think it's translucent. And then there's also one that says extra coverage. And I think one that's fragrance free. I'm not sure. But uh, from what I remember about the powder, I've heard people talk about it. It has a strong fragrance to it. I don't remember if it's like that cover girl scent that people say smells like Noxzema. I don't smell Noxzema when I smell it. I just know the smell. I think that powder smells like that or it smells perfumey. I don't remember. But for some reason, I picture that also being very drying and like an old style of powder, not really like I don't know, something I'm going to really want to try out and wear. So I might get the small one and try it, but I don't know if that'll actually happen. I just, I've never tried it. I don't know why. Oh, another um, classic drugstore foundation that I haven't tried is the Dream Matte Mousse. I guess the shades were never good, but when you're in middle school, you don't really care. You just buy the one. You had the CoverGirl compact powder in your back pocket with the ring 
on your pocket as if you were carrying chewing tobacco all the time and just powdering up your face over your lips and everything like flat, flat, no dimension face or you are the Dream Matte Moose Foundation. Um, I didn't wear a foundation at all in school, which was good, I guess. I was just bare face all the time and no eyebrows. Anyway, um, I never tried it. I would like to just to see. Um, I don't know if they've updated the formula at all since I was in middle school. I have no idea. But any of you out there that are still using this, let me know. Like, what is it like? What do you think of it? One thing I do want them to bring back are the Dream Mousse blushes. Remember those? Ooh. Anyway. Okay, another thing I have never tried is the NYX Jumbo Pencils. I remember a time on YouTube when the white one was like the one to have. Every YouTube girl was coloring in their whole eyelid with that white pencil and using it like a base. That way the eyeshadow they put on top would really, really pop and be like, like high color, I guess. I never tried it. I don't know if I just wasn't, I don't really know why. Cause I'm like anything I see on YouTube, I wanna buy it. But for some reason I never bought those, never tried them, was never interested in the white one at all. They also have a white one called Cottage Cheese. I don't know why they named it that, but every time we're stocking that section, it, why? Why would they name it that? Anyway, never tried them, have no desire to try them. But they also came out with some jumbo pencils that are a little bit bigger, but they're face colors and the ad, on the front of the display has a girl with it like colored all on the side of her face as pink. It looks very good in an editorial sense, but I don't know who's using those on a day-to-day -day basis, but if you are, let me know. Well, I can't understand my handwriting. Neutrogena Healthy Skin, that's what it says. Okay, another foundation I still haven't tried, Neutrogena Healthy Skin. This one is kind of the same as the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. I feel like it's just gonna be foundation on my skin like it's gonna it's gonna look good it's gonna work it's gonna be fine but it's not gonna blow my mind that's how I feel about it so I don't want to buy it I'm sure it's probably $18 or something and I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get the shade I'm gonna pour it out put it on and it's gonna look good and that's it like I don't feel like it's gonna blow my mind or anything another foundation the Milani one the conceal and perfect foundation I have never tried that um, I never tried it and I don't know if I would try it now. Uh, it's supposed to be a concealer and foundation in one, which really just means it's extreme coverage. That's what I've heard about it, that it's it's high, high, high coverage. I have tried the Conceal and Perfect concealer. I don't really remember it. I just remember the shade not being perfect for me. I don't know if it was too dark or what it was, but I remember not having the correct shade. Um, but the foundation is supposed to be very high coverage, some people say it's too heavy, looks gross on the skin, and some people swear by it and love it. For my preferences, I don't think it's gonna be for me. I, I appreciate some high coverage and some full coverage, of course, but I don't wanna feel it on my face. And just from what I've heard about that one, it can be a little heavy on the skin. So I don't know if that one's gonna be for me, but I still haven't tried it. If they ever come out with it in minis, you know how Tarte puts out some of their foundations in small sizes to try? I would try everything if they put it out in those small sizes, but this one, if you use it, let me know. Cause I feel like if I get a little bit and dot it around, it'll be okay. But I don't know, I still haven't tried it, but it doesn't draw me in either. Like I'm not wanting to try it either. You know, and as I was going in my head through each brand and I was like, okay, what haven't I tried from such and such brand that are classics? The one brand, oh my God, this is so mean, Alme. I couldn't think of one thing from Alme that was a classic item that I haven't tried. The only thing that came to mind that I would consider a classic item from Alme are the makeup remover pads, those little circular pads. Do they still make those? I don't even know. Those are the only things I could think of from the brand that I would consider a classic. Because Alme to me, it's a classic brand, but none of their products really stand out to me as must-haves or everyone had tried it at one time, like the Age Rewind Concealer. I feel like everybody has tried that at least once in their life. But with Alme, I couldn't think of any actual color cosmetic item that was a classic item. I don't know. But that is it. Those are some classic drugstore products that I still haven't tried. There are tons and tons of these things. Products I still haven't tried that I do want to, but also a lot that I 
haven't tried but I don't want to like classic things like those Maybelline eyebrow pencils the two small red pencils they sell to the that are this big why do they sell two small ones instead of just one long one I have no idea but I've never tried those before same with like that little gray it's a it's a liquid liner from Maybelline that they still sell I can't think of the name of it right now but the liquid liner like I have no desire to try that but it's classic it's been around forever and I never tried it but there are tons and tons and tons of products like this but I can't go on forever let me know some classic drugstore products you've never tried I would love to know what they are thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe so you miss my next one and I will see you later in another video goodbye